As Americans start to make vacation plans again, many of us are realizing we need to renew or get a new passport. But that has become a huge problem. There is a big backlog of applications because of the pandemic, so much so that some people are waiting more than three months for their passports to be processed. For the last six months, I have been trying to get my passport renewed. I have been calling, texting, emailing, carrier pigeon, bat signaling, you name it. <laughs> she is trying it all. The State Department says it's trying to ramp up operations to pre-pandemic levels, but in the meantime, it could interrupt her travel plans. Joining me to talk more about this, Mickey Dudas. Mickey, thank you so much for being with us. And thank you for having me and AAA to talk about this important subject. Absolutely. It's affecting a lot of people. And what happens to these people? They have trips booked. And maybe they're not getting their passports in time. Is there any way to rush this process? Unfortunately, the expedited services are, are suffering the same challenges. You know, uh, 2020, a lot of people had travel to international destinations that were postponed or canceled. So that heavy demand is coming into play. And of course, the State Department is uh, dealing with the COVID-19 uh, repercussions. Um, staffing, and, and just the volume alone. So AAA is urging travelers right now, um, you need to be mindful that the delay is up to 18 months, actually. So north of the four months, people that have traditionally thought they had a couple of months to renew, um, it's simply not the case. So AAA is urging travelers to consider the first thing you want to do is look at the status of your passport. Uh, many people, you know, put that in the safety deposit box and they forget about it. But now as we do consultations and the demand for travel is there, that's one of our first questions we're asking people. Uh, what is the status of your passport? And as people are anticipating traveling, they need to consider also that it needs at least six months validity. So that adds additional surge of people that either have to apply for a passport or to renew. And another instance where people need to be aware, check your passport to make sure it has the current name. All of this in preparation of traveling. Planning is key to traveling successfully this year and next year. Yes, planning is always key. Planning and packing. Also, Mickey, I want to ask you, are there any places that people can travel outside of the U.S. that do not require a passport, seeing that a lot of these passports are being delayed? Well, if you're looking for sun and sand destinations, really um, the U.S. Virgin Islands and, and Puerto Rico would be the, the two recommendations. Uh, they do not naturally require a passport, but anywhere else a passport is going to be required. Hey, we have a lot of places to explore here in the U.S., right? <laughs> Mickey Dudas with AAA. Thank you so much for joining us and for your great advice. We certainly appreciate it.